As a practice, we're trying to um, bring the two different worlds of nature and technology together into a new form of architecture. We're trying to get inspiration from nature without necessarily copying nature. The question of nature and technology, we see kind of two mega trends. One trend is that people have discovered that nature is incredibly uh, important for their lives. At the same time, there's a mega trend that communication and communication devices over the last five to ten years have enabled us to live in complete isolation and to have a virtual representation of everything around you. We think that there's a potential of actually integrating these two trends into one and uh, really fuse and merge nature and technology for a new kind of architecture and life in the 21st century. This project here is um, the project Future Home in Beijing um, and what it actually is is it's an artificial environment. It creates an artificial nature that is under a sky dome and under this sky dome sits a pavilion that talks about the future of architecture, about the future of nature and about the future of technology. The building, rather than shutting itself off from nature, like most other buildings do, uh, the building is trying to immerse itself into nature. It opens itself up to the surrounding environment, and this is only possible because the entire project is covered with a new skin and a new dome. During the day, the project looks uh, like it is kind of Garden Eden, with lots of flowers, lots of uh, light, lots of air, lots of plants and lots of people. At night it turns into this kind of technological garden where the technology that actually operates the whole system and runs the entire system comes to life. We believe that this inspiration from nature can come in at different levels of scale of a project. We recently won a competition to design um, a stadium for Ethiopia, the Ethiopian National Stadium in Addis Abeba, so at a master planning level. For example, this um, master plan is inspired by this idea of the local landscape in Ethiopia, which is a characteristic with many craters from ancient volcanic times. I saw an image, um, a microscopic image, of a little moth from Africa uh, in an in-flight magazine. And when you look very closely at that image of the moth, it shows very different uh, colored shingles that protect the moth against heat, against cold, against water, against sun, etc. and at the same time give it its incredible beauty. And that idea of the shingles, of the warm textures that are characteristic for a country and of the protection of the container um, with, with a beautiful skin has then translated into the stadium facade. We believe that in the 21st century due to this trend of people going back to nature and wanting more um, to be immersed in landscape, want green around them, want air, want light, and want to participate in the seasons and in the course of the sun during the day. Um, that has led to a new architecture that, that tries to bring architecture and nature again into a symbiosis.